Hello and welcome to CCL, where we've got our hands on Samsung's new 990 Pro M.2 SSD in one terabyte. This is Samsung's latest entry in their M.2 series, with the 990 Pro replacing last year's 980 Pro. The box has two security seals. Once you've got either one open, you'll be able to remove the SSD. In the box, you'll find the SSD in this little plastic case, as well as the documentation underneath. The 990 Pro we have here doesn't come with the heatsink, so the SSD itself is 80mm in length, 22mm wide, and 2.3mm in depth. If you're wondering what an M.2 NVMe SSD utilizing PCIe 4 even means, here's a quick explanation. M.2 just refers to the form factor of the SSD. They're smaller and connect straight into motherboards without needing an extra cable. But that doesn't necessarily change anything in terms of speed. An M.2 could still use a SATA connection, meaning it won't necessarily be faster than a standard 2.5 inch SSD. However, the 990 Pro is an NVMe drive, meaning it uses a faster communication protocol for storage. The 990 Pro also uses a PCIe 4 interface, which is the connection between the drive and the motherboard. Essentially, this allows for a direct connection, removing the need for extra cables, and resulting in lanes capable of higher data transfer rates, which therefore means you should get increased read and write speeds. Of course, you'll also need a motherboard that supports PCIe 4 if you want to utilize the fastest data rates the drive can output. Samsung's Magician software is designed specifically for use with its SSDs and has all the necessary tools integrated. Using Magician, you'll be able to keep an eye on your drive's health and if needed, run any diagnostics to see where any issues may be lurking. You can also perform benchmarks to see how your drive is performing compared to previous results. The software is clean and easy to navigate, so I definitely recommend installing it. It's not the best for showing other drive performance though, so if you're running a two drive system, you won't really be able to use Magician to monitor the health of your other non-Samsung drives, which is a shame. The 990 Pro boasts an impressive 7450 MB per second sequential write speed and 6900 MB per second sequential read speed. In Crystal Disk Mark, the 990 Pro performed highly with scores almost reaching its stated specs. In Samsung Magician's benchmark, the drive didn't perform as highly, although you can see there was also a difference between the read and write speeds from a previous benchmark I did with the same drive showing that it did score higher on the first test. The drive managed a 31GB file transfer in just over 3 minutes. Bear in mind the files were transferred from a HDD meaning this would have lowered the drive's performance, but unless you're running two high speed SSDs, these kinds of speeds shouldn't be unrealistic. That being said, the 990 Pro is truly capable of some incredible speeds and manages heat well clocking in at 41 degrees. Under a higher stress load, I imagine those temperatures will climb, but given how cool it runs without a heatsink, the drive is likely to perform even better with one. Samsung's 990 Pro is brilliant at what it sets out to do, achieving blistering speeds and significantly higher performance than its predecessors while also consuming less power means this SSD sets itself apart in the best way. So, are you looking forward to picking up a 990 Pro? Let us know down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.